Hello to all my friends, subscribers, and subscribers, trolls, bots, lurkers alike. Even if you're listening in the future, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Just making this because of a video I seen today uh, where a person was a bit confused and going on about Enoch. And to me, uh, this person is um, Jewish. And I can tell by the way he keeps talking about the passages. So, there were two Enochs. Um, this person also said there were 15 books of Enoch found in the cave. There was a bit more. There were 15,000 fragments. So over 200 books were found. So, if you're going to ask something, just please um, have a bit of research before you do it. Okay. Who were the two Enochs? The two Enochs and Lemrix in Genesis. Most people are aware of Enoch, either because he was the first recorded person in the Bible, taken by God, or by the dubious book of Enoch, which I don't intend to cover here. But there are actually two Enochs, two Lemrix, one from Cain's lineage and the other from Seth's lineage. The family tree goes as follows. Adam, Seth, Enosh, Curran, Malkula, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lemric, Noah. And then it goes Adam, Cain, Enoch, Irad, Melchior, Methuselah, Lemric. Sorry for saying those names wrong. It is important to first to note that firstly, not to confuse Enoch and the Lemrics. Interesting, not much is said about the Enoch from Cain's line and not much is said about the Lemric from Seth's line. This is perhaps intentional as they don't seem to be of as they seem to be of no importance, especially compared to their counterparts. The Enoch from Seth's line is one of the most think of when they say Enoch. He was the seventh descendant from Adam, and as was e Lemric on the other side. Interestingly, these men were quite opposite of each other. Enoch was a righteous man, and Lemric was a worldly, ungodly man. Lemric was also the first recording polygamy in the Bible, polygamy, sorry, as well as a murderer. He also seemed boastful as he scoffed at God's curse on Cain and declared his vengeance would be worse than God's if someone were to harm him. Genesis 4, 23, 24, Lamech said to his wife, Abdullah and Zelda, listen to me, wives of Lamech, hear my words. I have killed a man for wounding me, a young man for injuring me. If Cain is avenged seven times, then Lamech 77 times. Genesis 5, 2, 3. Altogether, Enoch lived total 365 years. Enoch walked faithfully with God, and then he was no more, because God took him away. So here we have a picture of a boastful, murdering, adulterous man, seventh from Adam, compared to Enoch, also seventh from Adam, who was depicted as a holy man who walked with God. The Bible is often filled with types of shadows of future things. I believe this in progression of worldly man as opposed to holy man that began with Cain and Abel. We see how Cain's father Cain's line has fallen in just seven generations removed from Adam. Keep in mind that Adam lived 930 years. I did the math, but feel free to count it up as well from Genesis 5. This means Adam lived well beyond the birth of Enoch, so Adam was presumably alive when the other Lambrick was. The years are not given for Cain's line and likely saw the rift forming. While I do not accept the serpent seed doctrine regarding Satan and Eve, parenting Cain, I do accept that Cain's lineage seems to be less holy. See, I, I've been led to believe similar that the Cain and Abel, that Cain was actually a seed from the reptile, the toiler that worked and did all the work in the garden while Adam watched over, and that that become Adam's begotten son, meaning to be given. Um, yeah, let's not fight over it. Important to note, it's slightly off topic, that Noah was considered perfect in his generations, the great grandson of Seth, Enoch, therefore his sons were presumably holy men as well. However, no information is given about the wives of Noah's three sons, so presumably at least one could have been from Cain's line, thus eventually carrying on the legacy when repopulating. There are three sons attributed to Lamrick, two from Alda, one from Zelda. From Alda come Jabel, whose family raised livestock and tents, as well as Jubal, whose family is credited with string instruments and pipes. Interestingly, Jubal, Jubal also sounds a bit like tuba, a common instrument. His other son was Tubal Cain, whose family forged tools and presumably weapons. Genesis 4, 19, 22. Lamrick married two women, one named Alda, the other named Zelda, and Alda gave birth to Jabel. He was the father of those who lived in tents and raised livestock. His brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all who played string instruments and pipes. 
Zilla had a son, Tubin Cain, who forged all kinds of tools out of bronze and iron. Tubal Cain's sister was Nama. While Seth's line seemingly to vote mostly to God, Cain's was focusing on worldly stuff, wealth, instruments, tools, and weapons. Most of these people could have died in the flood, but mentioned above, they could have been carried on into the post-flood world through the memories of at least one of Noah's daughter-in-laws. The person also said that, that there were 15 books of Enoch found in the cave. Okay. Well, it said 15,000 fragments from over 200 books were found. Four copies of the astronomical book were found. Seven manuscripts containing fragments of other section of the book of Enoch. Okay, so I'll show you another one. We find a story of Enoch, who was the father of Methuselah, the oldest person in the Bible who lived 969 years. Well, there's that 666 number, isn't it? According to Jewish tradition, Enoch was the great-grandfather of Noah who walked with God. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not for God took him. Genesis 5 to 4. Enoch was the son of Cain and Ramah and led to Nodites. He also was the seventh descendant of Adam and Eve in the Bible. Note, Enoch is counted as a saint Roman. Enoch is not counted as a saint in Roman Catholic tradition, but he has Saints Day on July 26 in the Armenian. Enoch, Enoch is regarded as Canonolo by the Etran Orthodox Tuaha Church and the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, but not any other Christian groups. Sorry for saying those names are wrong. This is the 15 interesting facts about the book of Enoch. The first book of Enoch. The first book of Enoch was discovered in Albania, 1773, by a Scottish explorer named James Bruce. Now, what else comes from Scotland? Yes, yes, that secret society. But it was also another few secret societies that were formed there. The Jacobsons were also from Scotland, and the Jacobsons were around before or with the Rosicrucians. The Jacobsons joined the Rosicrucians, and then the Rosicrucians joined the Freemasons in... 25th of June, I think it was 1717 or 1725, somewhere around there, in a tavern in England. It was an apocryphal book in the Ethiopic Bible, which is typically dated between the 3rd century and 1st AD. It was considered sacred by some followers of Christ, however, it was left out of the Bible and disappeared a few fourth centuries until it was rediscovered in 1773. In 1821, it was translated by Richard Lawrence and published in a number of editions. The first book in New York has five sections as follows. Book of Watches, 1 to 36. The first part of the book is about uh, watches, a group of angels sent to earth to watch over humans. 200 of these angels committed transgressions by having sex with humans, creating a race called the Nephilim. When the sons of men had multiplied in those days, beautiful and comely daughters were born to them, and the watchers, the sons of heaven, saw them and desired them. They said to one another, Come, let us choose for ourselves wives from the daughters of men, and let us beget children for ourselves. It is said that the watchers taught the eulogy. This was a problem, as it robbed humans of the opportunity to discover the arts by themselves. Art means no, no, it means from nothing. Ezreal taught men to make swords of iron and weapons and his shields and breastplates and every instrument of war. He showed them metals of the earth and how they should work gold to fashion them suitably and concerning silver to fashion it for bracelets, ornaments for women. He showed them concerning etomy and eye paint and all manner of precious stones, dyes, and the sons of made men made themselves for their daughters and they transgressed, led the holy ones astray, and there was much godliness on the earth. They made their ways desolate. The Book of Silomites. This section of the book appears to be based on the Book of Watches, however, it presents a later development of the ideal frontal judgment and psychology. The Book of Silmites, I can't say that, protagonist, who is also called the Chosen One, Righteous One, and Messiah, and narrates his sitting in the throne of glory in the final judgment. The Book of Astronomical Wings, 72 to 82. This section of the book contains descriptions of the movement of heavenly bodies of the firmament as knowledge revealed to Enoch and his trips, heaven guide by Uriel. The Book of Dream Visions, 83 and 90. This section, the book contains a vision of history of Israel all the way down to the what the majority have interpreted as McCain, McCain being wrote. McCab being wrote? Mecca bean. As the Mecca bean revolt. In addition, this section of the book and later, near the end of Disciples, doesn't seem to too much harm from the bread, beasts and birds. According to the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, the book was written before the flood. The Book of Epistles of Enoch, 91 to 107. This section of the book contains a text called the Acropolis of Weeks that some historians believe to be written about 167 BCE before common era. And Enoch, this week, while judgment and righteousness are still in June. After me, there shall arise in the second week great wickedness, and deceit shall have sprung up, and in it there shall be a first end, and be saved, and after it ended unrighteousness shall grow up, and law shall be made for the sinners. And after that, in the third week, at its close, 
a man shall be elected as a plant for the righteous judgment, and his prosperity shall become a plant of righteousness for evermore. And um, after that, in the fourth week, it is chose closed. Visions of the holy and the righteous shall be seen, and a law for all generations and closed. Closure shall be made for them. And closure, what the dome, cut off from, yeah, everything. And after that, in the fifth week, it was closed. The house of glory and dominion shall be built forever. And after that, in the six weeks, and all that who lived in it shall be blinded. And the hearts of all of them shall be godly forsaken wisdom. And in it, men shall ascend. As it's closed, the house of dominion shall be burnt with fire. And the race whole race of the chosen root shall be dispersed. And after that, in the seventh generation arise, and many shall be its deeds, and all its deeds shall be apostate. And at the close shall be elected, the elected righteousness of the eternal platform instructions concerning the second book of Enoch was once presented as in the old Slavonic Bible. It is basically an account of Enoch's travels through the seven heavens and includes certain revelations given to Enoch and Enoch's exhortions to his children. Third Book of Enoch. Third Book of Enoch is a rabbinic text originally written in Hebrew and it usually dates around to the 5th century CE common era. The, then the Book of Enoch. Some have appealed to the Book of Enoch to support their arguments that the Bible teaches that and I saw the stowhouses houses of all the winds, and I saw how him, how with them he has adorned all creation. I saw all the fountains of earth. I saw the cornerstone of the earth. I saw the four winds which support the earth and the sky. I saw how the winds stretched out a height of heaven, and how they positioned themselves between heaven and earth. They are pillars of heaven. And I saw the winds which turned the sky and caused the disk of the sun and all the stars to set. And I saw the winds of the earth which support the clouds. I saw the paths of the angels. I saw the end of the earth, the firmament of heaven above. That's that one. Okay, so the book of Enoch. The book of Enoch is an uncannable Jewish work attributed to Enoch, the great-grandfather of Noah. The book is to date about 300 BC. And it includes a detailed account of the fall of angels in this section of the book watches. So the book of Enoch, ascribed to Enoch, is a non canonical text used by Jewish sects, including the Dead Sea Scrolls community during the Second Temple, temple period. It consists of five separate books which have been combined into one document, the Book of Watches, the Sedamites, Parables of Enoch, the Astronomical Book, the Book of Dreams, the Book of Enoch, Apostle of Enoch, sorry, including the Apocalypse of the Weeks, Aramic Fragments of all sections of the Book of Enoch, except the Sodomites and concluding discourse have been found at Conroe. So this bloke said there was 15 books. Um, yeah. It was actually 200 books from 15,000 fragments, four copies of the astronomical book. So. I'm not going to get into all of this, but there was a bit that I would like to share. I'll leave the link in the description for you guys. <laughs> 